All right, now we're going to discuss uh, using the grid. The grid, folks, is, is such an incredibly valuable tool. Uh, look, I'll go ahead and explain, but basically you're going to go under Tools and General Options. All right, now, once you're in General Options, you're going to find the Grid tab. Go ahead and click on the Grid tab. Now, if you look, you'll see that I have set my grid to 1.5 uh, millimeters square. Uh, at this point, I'm going to simply click OK. Now, let me explain what I utilize the grid, and I will have uh, more videos regarding this when we get into uh, the satin stitching and some of the rules with satin stitching. But uh, my contention is, or, or my knowledge is, that the narrowest satin stitch that we should ever program uh, in embroidery is about, uh, it actually is 1.4 to 1.6 millimeters in width, right between there. So I set the grid Y, 1.5 is right in the middle of 1.4 to 1.6, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. One of the aspects to digitizing is uh, proper stitch widths when you're working with satin stitching. With a grid on your screen set at 1.5 millimeters, uh, basically what you have is a frame of reference to the narrowest satin stitch width that you can ever achieve uh, or that you can ever utilize in, in digitizing or in embroidery. So now, if I go ahead and, and pick a satin stitch and I've zoomed into a design on this zoom scale, as long as that grid is up there set at 1.5 millimeters what I have is a frame of reference meaning I never make my satin stitching narrower than that all right now I'll go ahead and zoom in once again now you see the box got bigger well you know what the box is still 1.5 millimeters square folks so if I'm now digitizing on this zoom scale once again I have a magnificent frame of reference to the narrowest width a satin stitch should be Hence, I would make my satin stitching that wide. So it's a frame of reference. With constant zooming in and out of a design, you need to establish a frame of reference to the proper width of stitch types. Uh, the grid is a magnificent tool from this standpoint. I will explain further as we move on. I also utilize the grid for a quick look at lettering. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring up a new screen. Uh, the grid is already set to 1.5 millimeters. I'll click on my text tool. I'll go ahead and I'll generate some text. I'm just going to go ahead and type my name Walt in here. All right. And with my name typed in there, I'm going to set the size of the uh, lettering to 5 millimeters in height and click apply. Now, nothing on that screen really telling me whether that's going to just from an initial look whether that lettering is going to work or not uh, when I put it on my machine. But if I zoom in, all I have to do now is look at the box behind it quite easily and, and as simply as I can put it, if the lettering is not as wide as that box behind it, it's telling you before you run it, it's not wide enough. It's not going to work. So the grid can also be looked at or utilized as a very uh, uh, simple and quick way to look at things as like keyboard lettering to determine whether it's going to work or not. We will go much, much deeper into this as time goes on. Uh, I think everyone initially ought to, ought to set their grid to 1.5 millimeters square. That's the overall point with this part of the lesson. Let's move on.